Hi everyone who is watching this video, this is Qi. This video is about uh, our course research project for Stanford CS236, the generative model. Um, our project is um, audio super resolution. So first of all, the problem we try to address is the generative modeling of audio signals. This is a fundamental problem uh, at the intersection of signal processing and machine learning. In this project particularly, we focus on uh, the problem called bandwidth extension, in which the task is reconstruct high quality audio from the low quality downsampled audio as input. Usually it's a small fraction of 15 to 50% of original samples. This will be very useful in data augmentation for voice music recognition, telephony, compression, text-to-speech generation, and the other domain as well. So we see we saw many success stories on image super resolution, but not so many in audio field since the traditional approach like mathematic interpolation and standard neural network does not work well here. We want to try um, to leverage the generative approach to help upsampling from a low resolution audio file. And we hope get it work as lightweight fashion so we could apply it in a real time product. Um, by doing that, we explore three different um, generative related models. The first one is the low res to high resolution interpolation model, which is uh, inspired by an image resolution, uh, image super resolution approach. The next one is the simple RNN, uh, which is the uh, unconditional end-to-end uh, neural audio generation model. The last one we try is the wave go model. It's a flow-based uh, flow general model. We're going to talk about them later. But first, uh, what is the data set we use? We uh, use VCTK data sets, which contain 44 hours of data from uh, 108 different speakers. Each audio is nearly uh, 30 seconds long. But before training, we pre-process it uh, because all these data are high quality uh, audios. In order to train, we have to downsample them at a rate about one to two, one to four, even one to six. So we pair with this low uh, resolution down sampled audio is the original audio for training purpose. So let's back to the, the model we, we try. So the first one um, is the simple RN. Simple RN is originated as a pure generated model in the unsupervised learning fashion. The most important feature of the simple RN is that it conforms to the audio auto regression, auto regressive ordering. It profits from combining memoryless modules, namely autoregressive, multi-layer perceptron, and stable reconcurrent neural network in a hierarchy structure is able to capture underlying source of variation in the temperature sequence over very long time spans. Um, the wave glow is a normalizing flow model that explicitly models the probability distribution of audio sample sequence conditioned on a mild spectrum gram representation of the audio. It generates samples by first drawing a hidden random vector from a standard normal distribution and apply a bijective series of transformation to get audio samples. It trains, it trains by maximize the log likelihood of the data. The data in this case is pair of a limited res resolution mouse spectrum gram and the original high resolution audio samples. So once this model has been trained, we apply it for the downstream task of super resolution, which is simply condition on the mouse spectrum graph of the, the low resolution audio and draw samples from standard number distribution for the hidden latent variables. So the last one we try is this low resolution, high resolution interpolation where a neural network. This is a very simple approach. It's inspired by um, the image super resolution. Um, basically, we build a model which learns how to 
um, inter interpolate low resolution audio file to um, to higher ones. Um, especially at the down sample steps, we have the special dimension and double the future size during up sampling. Uh, this is the reverse. The the bottleneck architecture. Um, is actually inspired by autoencoders and is known to encourage a model to learn a hierarchy of features. For example, on an audio task, bottle layer may extract the wave style features, while higher ones may correspond to phonics. But uh, another great advance for this model is uh, it's, it's fully convolutional and may run on the input sequence of arbitrary lengths. Um, as a result, actually, we, we first pass this uh, simple RN approach. Uh, even though the uh, ISNR and spectrum graph show it perform well, but it's very hard to fit into our scenarios. It requires lots of the change, a lot of work actually to change it to be conditioned, not only on the previous samples it generates, but also on the Low resolution input file, and the result may not guarantee. So, it, see, uh, so we try to, because it's very difficult to convert. Um, we probably will do it next time. The next, the other two models, um, both of them, they have very good reconstructed result compared to the baseline we choose. Uh, we choose cubic upsampling as the baseline, um, but the wave flow model, this one. Is too small. Is too slow because it's predict one sample at a time. Um, then, which means we have to predict uh, two thousand uh, twenty thousand k uh, twenty thousand samples for one second in order to be real time. Um, but we don't have that problem for uh, for this one. Mm, as a result, we prefer this uh, image super resolution like approach. Because it's most lightweighted approach, fast, simple to implement, and it also can deliver uh, acceptable re uh, result. Uh, for example, you see here, th this one is the um, the high resolution audio file, and this one is the down sample one. Uh, after apply the model, we see it's uh, uh, it's this is a reconstructed result, and it's not that bad, and it's fast, and uh, it can uh, almost uh, accept the arbitrary length of input. So it has many advantages compared to others. Um, but as the next step, actually, we want to look more into this sample RN approach because, it, I see, because we think uh, if we can convert it, spend time first to convert it to, the, to be conditional, uh, not only on the internal states, but also on, um, on the low resolution file, input file, it may generate better qualities uh, content, which we're going to focus uh, on the next stage. So, okay, that's, that's all we have. Thank you for reading this, and uh, you're welcome to leave comments below or contact us if you are interested in this topic. So have a nice day.